Hi everyone, I uh, hope you're keeping well. Uh, to too, as they say here in Ireland. How are you doing? Um, hope you're doing well. So, I got a query in from a guy uh, about uh, wet fly wings and um, different different styles. So, uh, to my knowledge, I wouldn't claim to be the, the world expert or something on this at all. At all, uh, there are four four styles um, being uh, angled down, angled up, um, dark side out, if you like, or uh, the dull side out paired up, uh, which um, means that you, you can have your wings either open or closed. So uh, it's up to you, I think, what your personal preference is with it. But um, since it's the guy, I can't think of his first name, um, Mr. Mulcahy, uh, was asking, um, so uh, apologies for not remembering your first name, Mulcahy, but I'm sure you won't mind as long as um, explain that the different styles. So, um, so there's there's angled up, angled down, open and closed. So I'm going to do a little a little video clip, um, just tying in all four styles and hopefully do my best to explain them, and then um, you can see which one you prefer uh, to use yourself. In device here, I have um, a Fulling mill heavy wet size 10 and um, I've just put a bit of uh, tread here just to show so um, two primary feathers here from the the wing of a bird there uh, these are off a of gull but you could depends what pattern you're tying um, I just like the markings on these but you could use hen pheasant um, duck starling jay all used on, on wet flies and um, what you want to do is pull pull a slip so I usually like to angle them out at a bit of a right angle and just pull them off. Um, you want to get two slips that are the, the same width for pairing them up. Um, now look, if you don't don't want to be fiddling about a little bit with them, then you could um, use the tweezers and something that measures them exactly the same. I, I don't, I just pair them up by size. Uh, but for someone starting off, you could if when you when you put them together uh you can always pull away you know if one or two strands are wider on one slip than the other um but look if you want you can go down the route of tweezers and, and all that kind of stuff or special tools for measuring the widths um so here i've put the light sides towards each other and you can see there's a space and at the end of the, the wing which is described as open style okay and basically um, this is open style and that's angled down and if I turn it up the other way that's angled up and in a lot of traditional um, English or British style tend to be angled up a lot of particularly some of the lock wet flies um, um, and as I say uh, this is angled down which might be considered to be Canadian style or or some some American tires. Um, I like this for certain patterns. Um, just depends what what the profile the fly looks like to me. This might be um, particularly sea trout patterns. I like it this style. Um, I think it looks a bit more beige fishy, a bit more um, streamer type, I suppose to me. Um, but it's all it's all personal preference. Uh, just to explain the the clothes style then. If I reverse those slips and I put the dark sides towards each other and the pale sides out, um, that's a closed wing, so it doesn't really open, it stays stuck together. And you um, put it up on the hook like this, or you can have it angled down again like this. And different theories about you know when it's wet how the the bars show through what's more natural looking to a fish what might look more like a particular insect so i'm going to go with the dark sides out just to retain this a lot of my patterns i like to tie them with the open style so get your wings lay them on top and sometimes you see because of these trailing bits might be in the way that sometimes I'll just trim them a little flush. Um, lay them on top. Catch them there. 
Working the thread in between your fingers to form a, a pinching loop again. And hopefully when I let go, they'll be sitting up really nice like that. Okay, and these are um, angled down. As I say, if I turn them up the other way, they'd be angled up. So um, I say either follow um, a traditional style, look at a photo or uh, see what it says in the book. It'd be this way, angled up. And again, pinch and loop. Now this might break because I've already tied in. I don't want to, it's sitting okay. Considering I tied it in up the other way already. And that's 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 an open style there. I can sp spread them. So um, angle up, angle down, um, open and closed. There's four four ways of tying in your wings. And hopefully that that answers the question and helps helps a few people.